In this video, we are going to go over how to use and access Google's Arts and Culture page. This is an amazing resource, an absolutely wonderful page with some great content on history, culture, art, and um, anything in between. So as we scroll through, you can see some of the really cool collections. You can explore Van Gogh's bedroom and dive into Monet's gardens. You can explore places. You can go to different galleries and museums and places of architectural significance. Um, one of the really cool things about the arts and culture page is you can explore with Street View. You can go on virtual tours which is really helpful when we are um, in an age of social distancing and um, travel can be limited. So you can explore virtually um, places that you can one day travel to. There's different sections like Art Zoom, where you can go on guided tours of uh, different places and different um, art galleries and they have different features. So like here, there's a feature on sports in art, and then you can explore by color. So you can look at different art pieces that highlight different colors. And again, there's different places that you can explore and different art movements. There's zoom in where you can um, take a closer look at different um, artworks different uh, places and times and movements. So as we scroll through, you can look at um, art in nature and those different movements throughout time. And then we reach the explore by time area of the arts and culture page. So you can look at different time periods and um, what art and culture looked like during those different periods. There is the moments that mattered and looking at the historical significance of that. And then uh, just kind of continuing through here, there's just a lot in the arts and culture. You can really get lost in their collections. There's so much great uh, information here that you can um, really dive into and learn about um, different uh, pieces of culture and art. And so we've got some pop culture here and then there's the section on artists' lives where you can learn about the different artists. Here's a piece on technology and art, which is really exciting. And then there is this really great section on exploring in 3D. And so you can open up and look at 3D renderings of different art objects. Like here we have this gate in Berlin. And so you can uh, check those out. And uh, then there's even more sections on uh, history and looking at the links in history. Um, and then uh, again, more types of art that you can learn more about and uh, check out as you go through the Google Arts and Culture page. There's even Explore in Virtual Reality, so more um, 360 views where you can really go on those virtual field trips, especially if you have um, a headset or Google Cardboard that can make it a truly immersive experience. More sections on different areas and different time periods, checking out history on, on trends. And then up at the top, there are sections where you can explore different highlights. Um, if you click on that explore uh, tab in the top right, you can um, further narrow down and search um, different areas of the page. Now the other section up there that's cool is the nearby tab and it will highlight museums and um, historical sites and places of cultural significance in your region. And so those will show up here. And then if you click browse, it will show you uh, paintings of areas um, around you. And so you can see that and click on a painting um, of a place nearby and learn more about that artwork of your region. And so that is up in the nearby tab. And so you can explore, um, dive into the collections on the homepage or see what is nearby. And so again, Google Arts and Culture, there is so much there 
and you can go on those virtual tours and find out more about arts and culture throughout time.